10 low carb foods you should be eating to lose belly fat fast. Picture this, you could finally drop 30 pounds or more and see your six pack, no more love handles and chest fat. On top of that, what if I told you you could eat ice cream, an egg McMuffin, fries, drink soda, and have your favorite snack every night, like a Rebo's or a peanut butter sandwich. Hold on to that thought and I'll explain how I've implemented these dieting techniques to lose belly fat. 99% of the people I've worked with as a coach have tried dieting before, but then failed because they couldn't sustain just eating chicken breasts or just following a no-carb diet. To him, thought it was impossible because he was plant-based. Matt was eating 1,300 calories and no carbs before working with me, and he saw a six-pack in just 30 days, after I even gave him more food and eating the meals I'm about to show you. And Hugo, running his own business in medical school, felt like he had no time to get into shape and cook these meals. All the meals I'm about to show you take an average of 10 minutes, 10 low carb meals you should be eating to reach these goals. The first snack is one smooth and gentle tap of the like button. With the side of subscribe for more valuable souls and hit the notification for good luck. Jokes aside, let me know if you guys want more of these and which meals was your favorite in the comments below. I'll pick three winners for $100 each of the HP Labs, Gymshark or Alpha Elite. Meal number one. Cauliflower rice and white rice contain different amounts of carbohydrates, calories, fiber, potassium, and calcium. Amongst its advantages, it's made from one of the healthiest cruciferous vegetables you can get. So it's loaded with nutrients including fiber, vitamin C, K, B6, and potassium. Cauliflower has 25 calories per cup versus 218 calories for a cup of cooked brown rice. If you're watching your carbs, cauliflower has 5 grams per cup versus the 46 grams for a cup of white rice. Comparing the two, the cauliflower rice has a tenth of the calories and carbs compared to white rice. If you're looking to add volume to your food, you can't go wrong with a substitute. Cauliflower rice taco bowl. This is an incredible substitute for using the rice version of this meal. The macros for this entire meal are 341 calories, 21 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, and 58 grams of protein. This meal is amazing, especially if you're looking for something low carb that's going to save you tremendously. This would be double the macros at almost 700 calories if you had its rice counterpart. All you need to do is add all the spices and flavors that you do enjoy. So I use some taco seasoning in here, added some onions, you can add a little bit of different greens here and there right to make it your own taco bowl adding the spices you do enjoy make this meal it's so easy to prepare now I will say you don't have to buy pre-made cauliflower rice you just need some cauliflower and a food processor which is budget friendly and you can make the exact same meal but I'll leave it here I'll see you guys for the next meal but this I have about four weeks out even leading into prep and I feel incredible and it tastes amazing Here we have a Big Mac 
versus Dr. Mike's bunless Mac. The Big Mac macros come out to 550 calories, that's 30 grams of fat, that's 45 grams of carbs, and that's 25 grams of protein. In comparison, you'll have the bunless Mac at exactly 3 grams of carbs, 9.6 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein. When you're on a low carb diet, you can choose a different bun that saves you on some more carbs if you don't want to go the bunless route using the lettuce head. And I might even give myself a 10 out of 10 for presentation on this. But a fantastic way to be able to make a meal that you want to enjoy but want to save yourself on the carbs. It can also help you make feel that you know you're not on that strict of a diet. But I highly recommend you give this a go, especially if you're going low carb. But that is bunless mac. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was so good. It didn't even last me 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. Out of all the meals you're gonna try, try this one, the bunless burger. I thought, nah, you need the bun in there. You don't need the bun in there. It's amazing. I want another one. The biggest reasons people fail their transformation, it's simple. It's the diet. If you're watching this video, it's my guess that you've been struggling to finally get your dream physique. You're either just starting out with your diet or You've been trying for years and years to get into shape, but the problem is there's so much information out there, most people don't know which program or coach to trust. I believe I'm the best person to help you finally make that transformation and make that breakthrough like Hugo, Tahin, and Matt, and the other hundreds of clients I've coached. If you're a busy professional, a success-minded individual, you want to be at high peak performance in your career and in your personal life, then fill out the application and book a call with me. burger and fries but in this case I've substituted the sweet potato fries or the normal potato fries for pumpkin which is a much lower carb alternative it also has that sweetness that people like from the sweet potatoes but all of the carbs mostly are coming from fiber that saves you a tremendous amount of carbs that you are ingesting this is an incredible meal to have that's low carb super easy to make you pop it in the air fryer for about 10 to 15 minutes and voila you can have a little bit more pumpkin if you like or butternut but this is such an easy meal to make. Meal number four, Jello, is low in calories but also high in artificial sweeteners and low in nutrients. While gelatin supplements may have some beneficial effects on your health, it's unlikely that Jello will provide the same benefits. That being said, because of the low calorie nature of Jello and its high volume, incorporating this into my diet helps tremendously satisfy my sweet tooth cravings and makes me extremely full. This was amazing to have in my diet sub 2000 calories. Five hundred milliliters of Jello, and in here is less than ten calories versus an exact eighty grams of Haribos. Now I got to show you this. Both will cure your sweet tooth. However, in the Haribos, there's fifty-eight grams of carbs. Like in that, is this fifty-eight grams of carb, zero point three grams of fat, and five point one grams of protein. When you see this candy, don't fall for the low fat. Right, it's low fat but super duper high carb. You're just basically ingesting sugar. That being said, Jello is a great alternative in terms of looking for that sweet tooth but saving yourself the calories. But that's the comparison I want to make.
to omelets that has the yolk in there. But a good way to save on fats and macros overall by having an egg white omelet. I made it in the air fryer. It took me exactly eight minutes. It was so easy to make. I just cut up 100 grams of chicken breast, added the veggies that I like, which includes onions and tomatoes, and added the sauce of my liking. The total macros for this omelet is 224 calories, one gram of carb, 2.5 grams of fat, and 49 grams of protein. Super easy to make. If I could choose better, I may have had it in there just for seven or five minutes, right, for it to come out right, but this to me is perfect, easy to make, voila. There you have egg white omelet. Macros for this meal is 272 calories, which comes out to exactly 24 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fat, and 34 grams of protein. Now, what is amazing about this meal is that you get your micronutrients from the strawberries. You're getting your protein intake from the EHP Labs cheesecake flavored one, and then you also add the milk. It's super easy to make, and it allows you to have a quick protein snack, right, if you're on the move. I actually give this meal to a lot of my busy clients, and they absolutely love it. So give this a go if you're pregnant for time and you want to have a source of protein intake and hit your micros if you want to pick up anything from EHP lab they're having a black friday sale very soon the code is diamonds 10 that directly supports me i greatly appreciate you guys but let's go on to the next one meal number seven peanut butter ice cream 250 milliliters of low fat milk one scoop of EHP labs oxy whey 15 grams of pb2 and ice four packets of stevia vanilla extract and three grams of xanthan gum the final macros are 19 grams of carbs, 6 fat, and 40 grams of protein. Pro tip, having a quality blender is necessary, but a great investment if you make these and any other smoothies. If you want to decrease the carbs in your meal or reduce the PB2 quantity, you can also use Walden Farms. I used more PB2 to make it sweeter. Also using a great tasting protein like HP Labs Bean and Butter Puffs makes this meal. If you want to pick anything up, using the code DIAMONDS10 at checkout supports me and will save you money. You have two options. Option number one is you have the Oreo ice cream, which is the exact same amount as the EHP Labs protein ice cream. In the Oreo ice cream, you get exactly 656 calories, 92 carb, 28 grams of fat, and 8.8 .8 grams of protein. In my ice cream, you get exactly 290 calories, which come out to exactly 19 grams of carb, 6 grams of fat, and 40 grams of protein. The choice is y'all. But I think that this is an amazing alternative for your sweet tooth. Have this once a day. If you want to feel like you're not on a diet, I'm telling you it will work. Rather than just having this, which is just filled with sugar. Tastes great. Filled with sugar. Tastes equally as nice. Maybe a little bit less sweet, but incredible. Right? Making your own homemade protein ice cream. Meal number eight. A Big Mac versus a Big Mac salad. Macros on the Big Mac are 550 calories, 46 carb, 29 fat, and 25 grams of protein. To be honest, you could delete that burger in three bites. Take a look. The ingredients of the Big Mac include a bun, beef patty, onions, pickles, lettuce, cheddar cheese, and the Big Mac sauce. You can make the same tasty meal at 358 calories, only 10 carb, 8 fat and 66 grams of protein. The Big Mac salad is amazing to have with similar ingredients, but the volume is almost 8 times the size of a Big Mac. A quarter of the carbs, a third of the fat, and more than double the protein. If 
I made the exact same meal, however, I substituted the 300 grams of zucchini noodles for the pasta, the macros would come out to 725 calories, 224 grams of carbs, 4.8 grams of fat, and 90 grams of protein. There is a vast difference between the macros in these. Obviously, you have pasta and zucchini, but it's worth it. Give it a go. Go on to the next meal. Zero calorie drinks versus their regular beverages. I highly recommend and I plead, please go to the zero calorie option. Let me show you exactly why. Both Coca-Cola, right? The only difference is one has sugar and one doesn't. Honestly, you can't tell the difference. Like fight me in the comments if that is different. But let me show you why I stress so much for you to drink the zero calorie version, right? So here we go. I'm going to pour 250 milliliters. 260. You get the point. In that cup of Coke is exactly this amount of sugar. Twenty-six grams of sugar in that cup of Coke. You won't even notice it. You didn't even know you're drinking all that sugar. And that's not even a liter. Not even a quarter like that's a quarter of the bottle. Imagine you drink a whole liter in the day and that's just sugar into your system that has no benefit whatsoever, no micronutrients, nothing. Take the zero calorie version. It will give you a sentiment of like, um, it's normalcy and it will allow you to get to your goal. So my recommendation is stop drinking the ones filled with sugar and let me catch you guys for the outro because I can get quite passionate about this. And those are 10 low carb foods you should be eating to lose belly fat. They're incredible. In any diet, you can use them. If it's keto or if you're just eating a general diet, they're incredible to include because they're so low carb and they're low calorie consequently. That being said, let me know which one of the 10 foods were your favorite in the comments down below. Also leave the video the gentle thumbs up and that will enter you into the $100 giveaway for EHP Labs Gymshark Alphalete. I'll be picking three people and you stand a good chance, but I'll leave it here. These are two videos that I think you'll like. They're also diet related. But as well, if you're looking to work with me, you want to finally make that transformation and you want to eat enjoyable meals like the one I showed you, stop wasting time. 2023 is around the corner. Let's start the transformation today. Cheers.